Okay, so what I'm going to talk about today is um, testing a game that's been made in Construct 2 yeah. and utilising um, something uh, called Dropbox to be able to send uh, links out so that people can play your game. Okay, so I've got uh, my really simple game in Construct 2 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to export it. <coughs> export it out as a <coughs> HTML5 website. All right, so I'm just going to put it to uh, the desktop uh, in a folder called test. Just standard settings, normal style and export it and it shouldn't take very long to be able to do that because there's not really that much to this game it's just um, a little block that jumps up and down on a, a couple of platforms but it's just for the uh, just to show you how it's done so I'm going to open the destination folder and you can see there um, on my desktop I've got a, a folder called test and it's got the game in which I can run and if I just try and run it it'll say um, it needs to be hosted and that's the problem um, what we need to, to host it. What we're going to do is we're going to utilize Dropbox to host it. Now I've got Dropbox installed. Um, you can uh, you can get Dropbox free. You just go onto their website dropbox.com and you download uh, the program uh, and then it runs and it'll run sitting in your taskbar and run once you signed in and it'll synchronize your files. So it's cloud storage. Um, you get about uh, one and a half, two gigabytes to start off with and if you refer people to it uh, then you get extra so there's lots of things you can do uh, to get it up to about 16 gigabytes and the thing about Dropbox is that um, when you create folders and save things in there um, if you've got it on another computer it synchronizes between the computers so if you're working at college and you've got files um, that you want to work on you save them in Dropbox uh, when you get home those copies of those files will still be in there as well and you can you put that across all your computers another thing you can do as well is <clears throat> you can actually use Dropbox to uh, share folders and you can share them with specific people so that uh, everybody else can actually go in and, and save files in there so um, there's also a public folder in there and the public folder is a folder that everybody can get to so when we go into public you can see we haven't really got that, that much in there I've got a, a game test in there um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this folder <coughs> to from my desktop the test I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go into my public folder and paste that in now because I've got Dropbox installed here I've got uh, uh, an extra context menu setting now index.html is going to be the file that we're going to run I'm going to right click on there and say copy public link once I've got that public link then I can go I can go to my browser and I can paste the link in there and this is the link that you're going to send out to your uh, alpha testers or your beta testers and you can see there I've got the facility to be able to play that game and uh, so Dropbox is actually hosting the game and that's how you're going to create a testing environment in, uh, with Construct2 and Dropbox.